prior to the enforcement of the Sectional Properties Act of 2020, the developer used to have the mother title. They would send you the apartment using something they call a long-term lease. It means it is a lease on another title. So I have the mother title, so I give you a long-term lease. What is the danger of that? Because I have the mother title, I can go to the bank and take a loan. You, you have your apartment, you think you own it. But, but I have taken a loan on the base title. If I default, what happens? You lose. You cannot hold your apartment, they will, they, the whole place will be sold. So that was cured by the Sectional Properties Act of 2020. The moment you bring the sectional plan, sectional plan is the plan that creates a, the apartment block. It tells that the, what is on ground, what is on which floor, how many units, and, and the specific units. When you bring that sectional plan to the Ministry for Registration, the next course of action is for me to cancel the mother title because it ceases to exist. It means you will no longer be free to use it to do anything else because you have ceded the rights to the apartment owners to whom you sold the apartments. In terms of who owns the ground, the law allows you to own proportionately the common spaces, the, play, the parking lot, the, the staircase, whatever, the common spaces, but it also obligates you to give right of way. You know, you cannot say, I own proportion in this staircase, yeah, so you can't pass here. Yeah, you fly to your flat. So it obligates you also to give right of way to other users in the apartment. Mm -hmm. So to that extent, every apartment uh, owner has their own uh, proportionate share of the common common land. The other thing it does, of course, is uh, you now you no longer have to have to be at the mercy of the developer. You can pay your own land rates because it it gives a proportionate rent to every apartment. Remember, before you wanted to sell the apartment and the other people in the apartment have not paid their rent, you wouldn't sell, unless you take over the rent. If you have a title to what is recorded as public land, it will not be on the platform. Because what we have done with all such parcels is to lock them until a separate process takes place to, to determine what to do with them. Because as you know, Moses, a lot of Kenyans, the famous land grab, have taken over public assets, and they have title deed. Issued by government, nonetheless, but we are saying, we will start a different process to interrogate how that happened. So those will not be on the platform. The third reason that uh, you will not find your parcel on the platform, if it is a sectional property or an apartment. Sectional units are units that are subdivisions units. So those ones, many of them will not be on the platform. And why is this? When we are registering sectional properties, unfortunately we register them using the wrong law, using a law called the Registration of Documents Act instead of the Section of Properties Act, which was repealed and a new one came into force in December like, like 2020. So why will they not be there? This platform has been built to recognize geospatial data. Geospatial data is just data in relation to space. It means you, your, your, your title deed should take you to a specific location on the ground. Why did we do this? Fraud. Because in the past there are people who have titles and they don't have land. So the, we built the system deliberately to recognize your spatial the geographical location on the ground. So your title deed is pinned to, to the ground somewhere. And if it's not on the ground, then you don't have land.